There are two worlds. Our world, the world of science, and Arcadia, the world of magic. Dreams connect these parallel worlds, but a dark force threatens the very fabric of dreams. Zoe Castillo holds the power to shape dreams and save us from the undreaming, but she is trapped in a place called the story time. Kian Alvane is destined to play an important role in the war to come, but he faces execution for treason against his own people. They are both about to be reborn. A new story is about to begin. Their paths will intersect, and at the end of their journey, they will face the Thief of Dreams.
They say that every story has a beginning and an end, but that isn't always the case. Some stories simply stop. My name is Zoe Castillo. I'm dying. I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this to me. She put me here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story, so that she could keep her secrets. It worked. The world is addicted to dreams, to dream time. It's just entertainment. They have no idea what the dream machine is really for and what it's doing to the world. They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? The thing is, my body may be here in a hospital, but my mind... My mind is elsewhere. This is the story time. It's the place between. And it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end, including mine. Wonkers, my old Wattilla. That was taken when Reza and I were still dating. Feels like a different lifetime. And, well, it sort of was. People keep bringing flowers. So funereal. Sleeping beauty. Coma as a fashion statement? No, oh, that's awful but I honestly do look better on my deathbed. I don't know if the chart is accurate or just a dream construct, but it doesn't look good. That line should be pointing up, not down. Dad, Gabrielle, stops by every day keeps apologizing. I wish he wouldn't. That machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail of life-saving narcotics. People dreaming, trapped inside their own night terrors. Someone's having a nightmare about a dying child. That must be absolutely terrifying. This is a dream. Your baby will be okay. Why 
won't you help me? She's all alone. I know that feeling. Don't leave! You can't leave! What are you doing? Stop following me. Turn around, go back, wake up. Help me. I said stop. I can't help you anymore. You're on your own now. Oh, for fuck's sake, people, go away. What are you doing? Stop following me. Turn around, go back, wake up. Don't leave. You can't leave! Please, help me. You're not alone. There are people out there you can connect with. But you need to stop using the dream machine first. It's not helping you. I said stop. I can't help you anymore. You're on your own now. You can't leave! Trapped, burned alive. That's a terrifying nightmare. Please. Please save me. There's no fire and you're not dying. It's only a nightmare. You've been using the dreamer too much. It's messing with your head. Don't leave me here. Ugh, I used to have this dream all the time. Naked, exposed. It's worse than it sounds. Please, please save me. Why won't you help me? This isn't real. No one can see you. You'll wake up soon and everything will be fine. But you should stop using the dream machine or the nightmares will continue. This dream is different. It's more persistent. And the dreamer, it's a child. Oh, great. I'll need to go in and untangle it. Stop. Don't come any closer. Leave me be. There are too many of you. I can't say... I can't help everyone. Just go away. Oh, she must be terrified. Poor girl. No, no, no. No, don't get too close. It will take you. That's one disturbed wardrobe. I'm glad this is not my dream. I'd be absolutely terrified. Shh. Don't make a sound. It will hear you. Who will? The monster in the closet. It will hear you and eat us both. She's scared enough already, poor girl. I need to be careful. She's already scared, but she needs to understand how dangerous the dream machine is. She's scared enough already, poor girl. I need to be careful. I promise it won't hurt you. You swear? I swear. I won't let it. But you need to get back home. I can't find my way. The way back is through there, through the wardrobe. I can't go in there. It will eat me alive. Not if we destroy it first. Don't worry. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me, I promise. Are you like a superhero? Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool.
not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, never again. It had to be tentacles. It couldn't be, I don't know, a dream about a wardrobe filled with bananas. Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness through and through. It would need to come from somewhere else. She dropped it. It rolled away. She doesn't know where it is. She won't go looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. Hey, who can blame her? Whoever wired her to a dream machine should be locked away for a very long time. Oh, it's too dark. Can't see anything under there. Binger, bringer of light. Emissary of electricity. The mighty torch. Bananas. That's the best you could come up with, Zoe. Light, yeah, good idea, but not from that. Without me, she'll be trapped here. She needs my help. Torch, flashlight, beacon. Not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, never again. I'm quickly running out of ideas. It's a torch. It projects a light beam. It's used to penetrate darkness, like a broadsword of light. Fighting. Darkness dragons. Oh, I give up. It's hiding. Stupid, smart, tentacled thingy. It's too quick for me. Hey, yeah, it's working. Cool. No, don't. 
Don't get too close. It will take you. You're safe now. Thank you. But I don't know how to get back home. I don't know where my mummy is. She's on the other side of the wardrobe, waiting for you. It's... it's scary. Come on. Do you use a dream machine? Mum makes me. She says it keeps me occupied. Then she has time to play with hers. The next time she does that, you need to say no. She won't like that. Maybe not, but you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares. I could tell Daddy. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. You do that. Now go through and you'll wake up again. Thank you. What's your name? Zoe. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. has to stop. He's a hard man to get hold of, the Vagabond. I've been calling him for the longest time. What's going on out there? More and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the dream machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then... Hello, Zoe. Look, I'm trying to help them all, and... and... There are too many, and they're nightmares. They're getting worse. You have to go home. For, for better or worse, this is my home now. The person I used to be is, is gone forever. There's no home to go back to, and, and I don't want to be the person I used to be. I have a purpose here. If I do wake up, I'll be lost. For there's nothing there for me. There's, there's no one. Besides, I'm needed here. What will happen if I just abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger disease. As long as the disease itself is alive and spreading, those people will keep coming back. There are no second chances. Every choice leads to the same outcome, and my actions have no real consequences, so... I'm not ready to wake up, to face myself again. There are no... there's nothing I can do. The dream is being tainted. The world is getting sicker. They all need you. This is where I belong. I'm in control here. Out there, I have no power. Isn't it enough that I'm making a difference here in story time? I don't understand why I'm needed. I did everything I could already. I just want to be left alone. I've done my share. You've been here for a long time, Zoe. The dreaming disease has not abated. It has become worse. When you laid your sister to rest, order was restored to the story time. Faith's presence, feeding on the dreams of millions, was wearing down the walls of reality. Without you, the world would be in chaos. Nothing lost was in vain. Nothing sacrificed was without meaning. You were brought here at the end because you are the dreamer and you belong to this place. But your world is caught up in a dream that never ends. I didn't see this coming. It's an aberration. You saved your reality once, Zoe. This time, all the worlds, all of story time, all of time is at stake. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. And that dream will quickly fade. Soon, it will be forgotten entirely. Unless you fight to remember it, you must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. You don't know? 
I'm not omniscient, Zoe. Much is hidden from me. I can see all the threads as they are woven, but the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. I'm too close. And even here, some of the past is obscured. This bothers me. I believe someone may have clouded my memory by design. An enemy, a shadow with tendrils into story time and elsewhere. If you stay here much longer, you may never be able to leave. And then everyone's story ends. All the people who love you, all the people you love, and everyone else, past, present, and future, torn out of the story like pages from a book. Why me? Because you are the dreamer. You must find your way back to your sleeping body. You must wake up and remember, and then you must save the world. Because that worked so well the first time around. You changed everything. That story had a beginning and an end. But it was also only the first half of your story. How do I wake up? There is a door. Find the door and unlock it, and you will wake up. Will I see you again? If all goes well, at the end of your journey, when your story is complete, you will see me again. One last time. That sounds final. But yeah, okay. I'll, um, go. Find the key, unlock the door, remember everything, save the world, write my story, return for epilogue. Very hero's journey. You will do fine, Zoe Castillo. I have faith in you. Good luck. <laughs>